Hey everyone and welcome to Watch Parties here at CCC. I appreciate you so much being here as we pursue Jesus together. Uh, as we grow as disciples of Jesus, as you know, we're going through the 99 essential doctrines put on by the Bible Project as we grow as disciples of Jesus. But before we get into today, I again want to remind you of Rooted. If you're wondering what the next step for you here at the church is, it's probably Rooted. And Rooted is, again, our intentional pathway towards living like Jesus. And we see that really at, by the avenue of serving as a volunteer here uh, at the church. And Rooted, the course, will help you learn who we are, what we believe, and how to get more involved here at the church at CCC. So if you are interested in that, you can click the link in the description below, or you can go check out our website uh, for more info. Alrighty, today we are continuing in our redemption segment, and specifically today we are going to be looking at election and calling. Some of you might know those terms, some of you might not, but let's look at election first. The term election speaks to God's gracious purposes in regenerating, justifying, sanctifying, and glorifying sinners by faith in Jesus Christ, in his heart to redeem sinful people from all walks of life. Uh, the term election is consistent with the free agency of man, and it is the glorious display of God's sovereign goodness in that it is infinitely wise, holy, and unchangeable. And because election speaks to God's purposes and will, to his grace lavished upon spiritually dead people, it also undermines our ability to boast. He doesn't save anyone based on their ability to keep his commands because none of us can. That's the whole reason why Jesus was sent. Instead, he saves us because he loves us, and he loves us because he loves us. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9 reminds us that God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done. So none of us can boast about it. So what does this really mean for us? Well, for some of us, this term election can honestly sometimes raise some questions. We want to know exactly how God's will and salvation works with humanity's free agency, with our ability to make meaningful choices. But God doesn't really tell us how these work together, only that they do. So our response then should honestly just to be ha to have faith in Him. God knows better and He knows what He is doing. I, I'm reminded from myself, and I'm sure those uh, of you watching can relate, that when I was a kid, my parents would do things that I did not understand, or I'd be like, what is wrong with them? Why are they saying this? Why are they doing the, this the, um, this way? And as I've grown older, I can totally see why they did the things they did. Um, and sometimes I'm doing those things that I question as a kid. And it reminds me of Isaiah 55, 9, that, For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. And so our response to election and the term election, what it means, should be to have faith in him. And also we should respond to the call of repentance, which brings us to our next uh, topic, which is calling. The term calling refers to the calling of God to salvation to all of mankind. And this really happens in two ways. God's call, God calls people to salvation externally through the proclamation of the gospel, the news that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, lived a perfect life, died on the cross in payment of our sins, and rose again from the, uh, from the grave. 2 Timothy 1.10 says, And now he has made all this plain to us by the appearing of Christ Jesus our Savior. He broke the power of death and illuminated the way to life and immortality through the good news. God also calls people to salvation internally through the Holy Spirit working in the heart of the person who hears the gospel message. 2 Timothy 1.9, the verse prior, says, For God saved us and called us to live a holy life. He did this not because we deserved it, but because that was his plan from before the beginning of time to show his grace through Christ Jesus. And so both of these things, the external expression and the internal expression, both of these callings are essential and both work together to bring someone to faith in Christ. And so what does this all mean, again, for election and calling? What do these terms really mean for us? Well, I feel our uh, we should be responding in three different ways. Again, one, having faith. He knows better. He knows what he's doing. Two, we need to obey. 
We are called as Christians when we respond to this calling, we then are called to share the gospel with everyone, calling them to believe in Jesus, doing so confidently because knowing for very well that some will respond to that call of repentance and they themselves believe in Christ Jesus. 2 Corinthians 5, 18 through 20 specifically calls us to this. And all of this is a gift from God who brought us back to himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconciling people to him. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, no longer counting people's sins against them. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. So we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. We speak for Christ when we plead, come back to God. And lastly, our response, having faith, obeying him. And lastly, just praising him giving him our worship. We should always be rejoicing and praising him for the salvation that he paid for us that is for everyone. And we should be living our lives in a way that it becomes plain to all everyone around us. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another watch party. And I just uh, hope you guys have great discussion time. Now pause the video if you need to, but just have some great dialogue as you talk about uh, this video and the terms election and calling. I will see you at the next watch party and hopefully even this Sunday. Thank you guys.